Happy Thursday. Hello. And an exciting day today. Pizza day. Pizza day. Of all the days, I can get excited about this day. Yeah, I love pizza. I love pizza. I love it too much. The chicken Thai pizza, or the Thai pizza, a California pizza, ultimate California pizza. That's a good pizza. I have not had it. It's, it's, it's great. Chicken, I think it's Thai. It's got chicken, Thai, peanuts, cheese, no red sauce. Have you had taco pizza? I like taco pizza. I've, I've had I Taco like Bell pizza. pizza. No, not that kind. This is oh. like normal pizza, but with taco. Oh, yeah. Or just like a margarita pizza, with Parmesan. I had a garlic. cheeseburger pizza the other day. Oh, interesting. Do you like pickles? I do. Have you ever had pickle pizza? In, no, I would. I don't like pickles that much. I know. I don't like pickles. My friends would always get it when they go places. I like the the sweet pickles, not the dill pickles. I mean, I can eat a dill pickle, but the Bread and butter pickles. Mm. I don't like any. I don't think you ever want that on a pizza though. No, probably not. Tell us what your favorite pizza is. Give us some new suggestions. When you think of the word temple, what comes to mind? Maybe you envision a grand or beautiful place that feels important and meaningful. God wants you to know that your body is a temple for the Holy Spirit and you're invited to treat it with the kind of care that something important deserves. This means that we are to be wise in how we treat our bodies and we're instructed to honor God with how we use them. When we are tempted to use our bodies in ways that do not bring honor to God, remembering this verse can be a powerful way to remind us that our bodies have significant value. Don't you realize that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God? You do not belong to yourself, for God bought you with a high price. So you must honor God with your body. 1 Corinthians 6, 19 through 20. Today, write this verse down somewhere and then write out a short explanation of what it means to you. Then finish your journaling by writing out the verse one more time. Use this writing practice as a way to memorize this verse because it is our memory verse for this series. Then remember that you can recall it in moments you need to be reminded of what's true about you.